learned since moving to LA? Who? That is a trick question for me. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have necessarily mastered anything yet. So I don't want to say I've learned anything. Mm -hmm. um, what I am learning is that I, in the past few months I've been here, I feel like I've worked consistently harder than I ever have before, Ooh, you know, and, test, honey, and yeah, and it's not to discredit any process that I've been through before mm -hmm. moving here, but I think when I put it in perspective and I think about, yo, you just drove 30,000 miles, like, in a car from... But wait, you didn't even tell the people how you got here. I <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. So let's okay. go back. Let's go back. Let's, let's, let's go back. Exactly how you got to Los Angeles. So the journey coming to Los Angeles, and I know some people, a lot of my friends did not believe it was true. Like mm -hmm. it was almost like the like the what the person who cried wolf all the time, the boy who cried oh. wolf. It was like, oh, I'm moving to LA. Yeah. I'm moving to LA. But I know I was very strategic and specific, and mm -hmm. not saying that until I knew, like, oh, it's happening within the next year or right. two. Right. So you know, I think a lot of my family and friends didn't necessarily believe it until like I was sending them the invite for my going away potluck, right. which. I absolutely was so overwhelmed with my friends and family who came out. Um, and so I had a, a campaign um, helping me move here. You know, people who wanted to donate, who wanted to be a part of the vision and just be a part of the journey. People who wanted to love on me. I had a yeah. campaign going, which I am so grateful for everybody who donated. I mean, literally people were coming out the woodworks with donations and it was so overwhelming to feel the love. It was people who I hadn't done projects with for like five, six years. Yeah. People I've known for 10, 20 years just donating, you know, like saying, hey, what do you need? You know, when you get out there, contact this person. So mm -hmm. for me, that in itself was like an experience. So did the going away potluck. I did the uh, campaign. Then my god sister, my best friend, my ride or die, the person who I absolutely love, my best friend and god sister Courtney made the trip out here with me. So it was two little black girls going across the country. Woo! That's a journey. <laughs> That's a journey and a mission. Yes. Two little black girls. Um, and she literally held me down the entire way. We drove 30,000 plus miles. We literally got caught in a snowstorm. Woo! Like, right before getting to the state of California, oh, which man. we were deterred like two, three hours. They literally shut down the roads wow. because of the snow. And so we made one stop in Kansas City. That was like the only overnight stop that we did. Mm -hmm. Then we literally drove from Kansas City straight. So Originally, 15, 15, 15 yeah. Hours. Well, it was a little bit more because... We were originally planning to stop in Vegas and we're mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, well, we'll just sleep here. Vegas is about four or five hour drive mm -hmm. from uh, L.A. So, you know, in the morning we'll get up and go. Um, but we're like, you know what? Let's just push it. Yeah. Let's just push it. Like we almost here. We're almost yes. here. Um, so, yeah. So that was the journey. Got here um, by the grace of God. My brother from Howard, Jeffrey, was able to help me, like, find and secure a place to live because that was on literally my radar. And I live with Maggie. <laughs> Listen, in Inglewood. Shout out to Inglewood. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Listen, that will always be the first place that I lived when I got here. Me too. So, like, he, he helped me find a place. So, we, you know, sublease. He helped me do that. And that literally came, I want to say... Less than two weeks before I was scheduled to literally go off um, and leave Chicago coming here. Like, right. it was very last minute. So, when I say stuff fell into place, like, I know it was no one but God. Amen. Because I couldn't have done it on my own. And okay. so, that that's my journey. So, when I think about the things that I've learned, it's like, if you pray, if you fast, if you're consistent, if you have a dream, like, go after it. Mm -hmm. When I think about the people who have told their stories, like a Taraji P. Hinton or a Jada Pinkett Smith, you know, or a Viola Davis or a Meryl Streep, you right. know, a Sandra Bullock. When I hear these journeys about people saying, don't give up, like, mm -hmm. I'm in it. Yeah. So it's like, it so rings true for me.